All right, welcome to the third week that covers the week of 710 to 716. Once again, I only got three days, but not because of laziness or anything like that, but we'll get to that. So, day six, we start the week out pretty good. Tip's already ready for race car in. I decided I wanted to keep it the same difficulty as usual. Maybe next week or this week when I finally get uh, four days in a row, hopefully. See how I am after that. I'll increase it a level again. But we'll see. I want to take it... Again, I want to always keep it slow, keep it steady. Don't want to overdo it, but... Once I get into the rhythm of it, I'm going to be needing to... Up it more. But... Uh... You know, Monday, I... I was into it. I was like, yeah, I'm... I'm doing pretty okay. It wasn't anything... I wasn't feeling anything special, yeah, it was just normal. Yeah, I'm here. I think for some reason on Monday I had like a lot of problems here with the... This part of the dynamic stretching, I keep... I kept like... Losing the rhythm on this. I don't know why. But it kept happening. I don't know. It, 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 I think I wasn't fully in the mindset of exercising, even though this is the third week, I should at this point be kind of in that mindset at the beginning of every week. All right, like, it's it's two o'clock, let's get into it. Come on, let's go, let's go, we got this. I don't know. Hooray! I need to try the other mode still. Something of a stretch, doing all the dynamic stretching. I'm gonna be doing it every day. Recap, we just got the blender. Alright, so we're getting items. Super spinach smoothie, two hearts, wow. Welcome to the game, Jim. Alright, starting off with the gluting gallery. This one really, really, uh... Oop, I forgot, I was, I got, went up too early. I was understanding how to do things still. I think this did more for my arms than it did for my core. Or my glutes, I guess that would be. Because by the end of this, my arms were really tired, so I think I might have been like... Trying to keep my arms up too much or something. I'm not completely sure. But otherwise, this did work my core. I think it's just because I was overdoing it with my arms that it felt like it was doing more for my arms. And it was just doing a lot for my, my core, my glutes. This one's pretty good. It's pretty simple. You just keep going backwards mostly and then just holding position. There's no weird patterns like going back and forth, back and forth. That back and forth there was kind of more just how you would normally do an exercise. And I guess maybe that's the point. That you're going to hold it in position. This is more like a dynamic or uh, a static stretch of an exercise instead of... Like anything. It's a lot faster paced, so obviously it's not a static exercise. It's a static stretch. There is a lot fast, mu lot more to it, which just hold right, middle, left. But I got it perfect in one try, so it wasn't too big a deal. It, it was a decent time that I am looking forward to doing a harder version of that. Gains. Yeah, I miss it. Oh, for Dodger. Title collector. I have a lot of titles now, apparently. But now, this other mini game. Also, I don't know what this. Oh, yeah, this. I do know what this is. This is in the next world. 
But this... This one here, we're only going to be watching the tutorial and one run of this because I did this like three full times and a bunch of mid-run restarts. So, okay, so up, you gotta, this is, oop, it's extremely sensitive getting Getting a specific depth dialed in. Maybe my Joy-Con was a little too far down my leg still. But for the most part, you just want to do full powered squats. Just keep doing up. Oh, I missed that coin. Oh well, I was a little early. But dialing in that, that was hard. I know, I, I did the miss on the, the fail one. I'm like, what am I saying I missed one? I'm just thinking, but yeah, d doing that, dialing in these in a row, they're difficult. And then you go all the way up. It's only here that you gotta start doing specific weights, and it's like, you'll, again, you'll, I don't know if you noticed, like, I was having problems dialing it in, it kept going up and down, up and down in that last little bit second. Just trying to get specific dial. I, I don't know. Maybe my ring con was... Maybe my ring con was too... Too low on my leg. And so it was getting... Every little bit was being a little too more... Or a little more... A uh, little more sensitive than it's supposed to be. But... As you can see, I finally get the S rank. I get the reward. I get the EXP. I get the fu all that stuff, and I got the rewards from the A rank or B rank. I want to also remind you all. I don't know why I went. I think I went back to check like if it said my rank or something somewhere. I don't know, but I want. I look at that. The time that is spent already. It's already been five minutes. Of exercise. Eh? I've already exercised five minutes for this day. Remember how many minutes I spent at the beginning, like before I went in? So I spent a lot of time in that second mini game. Huh? But here we are in the second stage of the, or the first stage. I was gonna say second stage, the final stage of this zone, but the First stage of this, uh, play session. We get the temple, but it's sunset. I like this, I like this level set d better than, uh, the, the, the forest, just cause, like, it's easy, it's harder to tell when something is repeated. Cause then also... They can make the, this level is probably like more tiled. It's more tileable, so that changing it up, changing how each level looks and feels, isn't hard to do like the forest would be. That they have to make unique levels for every run of the forest, and that's why it's like, oh, it's the same level again. That's boring. Which, yeah, it's... Again, it's... it's it is starting to feel boring already of, oh, it's the same environments. Hopefully there's also more enemy types. It's like, it's... As a game, I'm starting to already feel that it's... Not... Not a... Fleshed out enough. Yeah, that's it. Fleshed out enough. So it's like, it's... I don't know. I hear it's just a normal single enemy fight. We've, we've been through this so many times already now. It's nothing special here. It's not even higher difficulty to be like, Oh yeah, this is the higher difficulty now. I just did the overhead press, and I've done the overhead press how many times? 
It's the skill you start with. And one of the skills you start with. As was the chair pose. There will be one or two more interesting things to talk about this place, but... Yeah, otherwise it was... Other than the exhaustion that I was starting to feel after doing the squat minigame how many times, that... For the most part, I was trying to avoid leg-based exercise. Which sucked when I got a green enemy and had to do the chair pose. And for as much as I was avoiding the exercise, you notice I paused it before I actually started getting into it. I am doing it just like, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta practice this one. I gotta move my legs, but I don't, I don't wanna. Like, yeah, like, I don't remember that little setup there. That looks like it's super... It looks like these levels are super tileable, especially with the... That other stage being basically just this stage, but with the multiple pathways and the potential secret pathway, I guess, that might exist. Once I get the ability to, uh, blow air harder. So I got into this one, I'm like, oh, these enemies are all the colors, except for front press. And I realized, wait, no, that's only three enemies, don't. I should be using this so I could hit every enemy, and then at least I'll kill the middle one super easily. I've gotten into this one pretty good. I like this one, I think, now. And then, as I saw, I had no reason to worry beyond, oh no, this is only going to kill one enemy. Because it killed three enemies. Only because I did it right. If I did it wrong, it probably wouldn't have killed those two enemies. So I really did just expect me to do... Basically, that one perfect. It's facing out. Hooray, free, no damage. And I anticipated the green kennel bell was going to next space out, so I should kill the blue one now so that the green one won't damage me. Still having problems with this one, but I'm still going to keep it on for the most part. But then I was like, oh, the green one is attacking. I was wrong. I just realized that the music at the... The look at the exercise screen is a third version of it. You have the, it's your turn, battle, battle music. You have the, it's your turn, battle music. The, prepare to exercise your specific chosen ability music. And then the actual attacking is happening, be it you or the enemy. But, okay, here we go. The warrior one pose. I assume there's going to be a warrior two pose at some point. It confuses me, but here we go. We got Warrior 1. Yeah, nice work. yeah free XP. Good. That set up there where you did a small boost, then you didn't do a boost at all, then you did a big boost. That's like, i never seen that in the other levels, so it's like... They're giving you different, even though if it's slightly different, only very tiny surface level differences, it is slightly different. It does feel different, and that goes a long way that the forest stage doesn't give you for being the same level over and over and over. 
Oh no, we have to save her, so there's two enemies. This is my mistake for this fight. I should have taken out the blue crab first, I'm pretty sure. I think. Maybe not. No, I think I should. I did the right thing. I can't remember. The one battle I felt like, oh, I did the wrong thing. So, but this one. Put your left foot forward. Fully extend your right leg backward. Bend your forward leg and squat. And then tilt. I mean, it looks like the character's doing it. This one... This one is a lot to take in. Like, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. Because, like, I think it's because my back leg... My back leg can't lay flat. Even though it looks like Tip is laying flat. I wasn't expecting it to switch legs. It's like, oh, now we're switching legs. And I'm still in the same position. So I quickly put the thing down. But this one hard, it, like, it's a lot on my legs, it's a lot on the core, it's a lot on the arms. It's, this pose is a lot harder than the chair pose. I think I've started to learn to do it the correct way, but holy crap. That one. Warrior is definitely a warrior pose. It is difficult. All right, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't attack because it's tired. I don't know if that's because the game knew I needed it to not attack or what. I'm going front press just because I wanted to do front press and it would hit both enemies. I figured this will probably kill the green frog. It's enough hit. I like how the fro they, the enemies are looking down at the fish like, Ur, I see you. I just, I never noticed that, that the enemies actually look at your attack. It makes it even more satisfying that you're uppercutting the frog into death. And then I'm here, I'm like, oh, I don't want to have to do the knee lift. Don't make me do the knee lift. I'm tired. I was taking a nice big, big drink at this point. I was, at this point, I was exhausted. But you got to do it. You got to finish the exercise. We're right at the end. One more. Just one last exercise. We got it. Just get through it. But for the start of the week, it was... Yeah, it it happened. And dead. Wow, thanks. It wasn't amazing, really, I would say. But, you know. Now this here, I'm upset. Because watch the timer. Watch the timer. Charge your squat power, but don't overextend your relief. 11.01. Oh, I wanted 11 minutes exactly. That would have been great. That would have been extremely great. That it was 11 minutes exactly, but it... Uh, 11.01. This is still not working for me. Uh, apparently I'm 170 a minute, which is, I think it's the new high score for me. Or it's high score, quote unquote. Highest heart rate. But we got another power already. Smoothie craft. I feel my power returning. Mixing. Mixing. Ingredients and a recipe. That's gonna be our 
our more important way of making potions now at this point. It's like, oh, he, I guess the shop is going to be now. Okay, here's... Here's how you get, uh... Once you, you buy smoothies here at the shop that you don't already have. But you're going to want to prefer to anyone you do have the recipe for, uh... You just buy the ingredients instead. I no, I'm done. I was gonna kill Drago today, but nope, I'm done. Seven minutes, one second. So close, so close. Two low ring presses only. Guess what? I got a lot of squats in. Lower body. Good job. Now here's today's tips. The games, or the game's over. Okay, this is the thing about do your range of motion, listen to your body. This is why I'm not too concerned about Warrior One Pose, but I am some concerned about Warrior One Pose. That I feel like I'm doing things wrong, but I'm doing within my range of motion. But that's, that's day six. But we move right into day seven, and I think I was feeling a bit better about it on Tuesday. Okay, it's Monday, Tuesday, and Friday I did this week. I never mentioned that at the beginning of last time. I've been doing a lot of knee lift. Only because it's a new one, but, uh... And it's like, oh, how... Do you want me to keep asking you if you want it to... Increase it? No, I, I like that they're giving you this option. But no, I want them to be like, hey, are you ready? Are you ready? Great job, that was a dynamic stretch to be proud of. Yep, whatever. But we're back in World 3. And now let's actually look at creating smoothies that I immediately dunked out of. Like, oh, I have a new power. I'm too tired to look at it right now. So it's very simple, it's just, hey, have the ingredients, choose it, done. So I decide I'm gonna make the good potion. So I'm gonna make one good potion. I'm all ready. Squeeze. It's, they do try and make it active for you like everything else just by having that one squeeze. I imagine if you make more potions, you have to squeeze multiple times or something. I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. Right now I'm just going through to get rid of all the news. I don't care about news. But okay, this is level 17. Apparently this is a level 17 boss. So it's a couple levels ahead of me, and again, I... I don't know how high stats matter or how much stats matter, but I'm only level 14, so he's three levels higher than me. Which is a bit, uh, concerning. So it's, it's very concerning of, oh, he's gonna be doing a lot of extra damage to me that he wouldn't do otherwise, and, but maybe not. Maybe he wouldn't be doing more damage if I was level 17. Maybe he'd be doing the exact same amount of damage, or less damage. Maybe he would still be doing the same amount of damage, because I don't know how stats work in this game. Is it... Cause it doesn't seem like it's just additive or subtractive. Because that would make the game too easy if you just grind it out, because then you wouldn't take any damage. Also, I finally figured out how to do these in one shot. You have to hit it as hard as you- you have to push it in as hard as you can. And that gives you the one shot 10 EXP bonus. But ooh, something different! We have to break boxes. When you want I- to up, oh, I missed that one. I didn't realize that there was a drop. And that was upsetting. Like, oh, EXP medal. I did notice that box I missed on the left. I'm like, ah, I'm not going to grab it. It's, 
Those... Actually, no, I missed the first one. I noticed the two. I'm just glad I was able to get that EXP medal. And then apparently getting hit by the box will actually lose you... Money. Okay, I got level 15. That was a good boost. I needed that. But so now he's still two levels ahead of me. How much does that matter? I can't tell. Ten thousand. You have to stop your training. At the rate you're going. I'll pull something. Gra ha ha. Junior was telling me the same thing. Be right back, going to kidnap Peach now. He really does just sound like Bowser. But here we go, Boss Drago. He's by himself this time. Starting off with the Warrior 1, because I wanted to practice it. I really want to practice Warrior 1 and see about that, because the Squat 1, I get completely. I could do chair squats anytime now that I feel like... I would probably use the Rencon just for the, uh... The extra balance it adds to me. Expand your chest when you raise your arms. What does that even mean? Like, I'm doing breathing in and out. Is that what you mean? Breathe in when you raise your arms. Expand, because it breathing in expands your lungs and your chest a little bit. I, I don't know. That one does not make sense to me. But now we're doing right ones. It's really good damage, though. It's small hits. It's a two four, 245 damage. That's a lot. And that was doing it all correctly. All right, he's doing a hit. And that took out one and one third of a quarter hearts. So that was a uh, big damage. Overhead press is my standby. So I'm like, okay, going to do this. Get some damage in. It's an attack power of 30, so it shouldn't matter too much. But there's one thing I come into contact with with this in this boss fight that bothered me. And it's once again, the video game parts of the video game. As far as exercising, I have no complaints. It's getting me to exercise. That's good. I'm going to keep it up. I want to keep it up. I want to be healthier. Yeah, that only did 142 to Warrior 1's 240. So that's a big difference. I'm like, okay, I got, I got to do the knee lift. It's also 50. I should have did this after the Warrior 1. I should have alternated this in Warrior 1. I think I forgot that this was a 30. I just forgot that this was 30 power. So I just didn't do it. But I think I... I think I got into the rhythm pretty good with this one specifically. Like, I did this, this specific knee lift perfectly. And even that was only 210. Like... Uh-oh, two hits. Alright, he's doing big hit. And now I'm almost dead. And now at this point, you have to drink a smoothie. So I ate a two-heart one. Hearts recovered. And a one-heart one. And then I remembered I have my grape smoothie. Attack power up for blue. We'll do a war. Alright, because warrior one is 60. Leg lift or knee lift is 50. That would be why.
Now, I think I'm getting... Oh, I did that too fast. Warrior 1 wants you to go really slow. I don't know if it's just because I'm not going far out enough for it to properly recognize, but I'm trying to go out with it far enough, but also having to go slow. I think it's a mix of both, that you want to go far out and slow. Uh, I, I I think I'm doing okay with Warrior 1 now. It took a couple tries, but I got into it. It's a hard one. It's much harder than the squat. Alright, here we go. Big attack. Now, I didn't notice how much damage he did to me with that double attack. So, I got scared. So, I figured, let's use a one heart smoothie and a grape smoothie. Combined with any current buffs. And now this will buff my knee lift. So it did like 214, I think, damage before. So let's see how much it does now. It did 214. I think this one was a bit of a sloppy one. Again, you can't you can never see me because I'm not doing cams or anything like that, but I think it was a little messy with this one. There we go. This is a lot stronger, so... Right. About... A 10 attack increase. So I didn't need to use that one smoothie before I used the blue, because... Ring press. You're given a free heal after this. So all you need to do is just give yourself a one smoothie heal. Just you give make sure you have at least one heart and a little extra after the third attack. And then he just fully heals you. I did not realize this was gonna happen, so I was just chugging items like, yeah, whatever. But that went on a lot shorter than it felt like when I was actually playing it. But now we're well over the halfway point. I'm like, I need to do something different. I need to not just spam Warrior 1 pose. This is an exercise. It's not just game. This will be less damage, but I don't think it'll matter. So I did this. I am starting to feel it in my core more. Perfect. Or should I say the straight okay. abdominal? Inner hip flexors, I guess, are stronger now. Yes. Yes. I don't know, I'm... I'm just along for the ride at this point with... Oh, that's what that means. That's what that means. My character sure wants to rush, though. That did a lot of damage. It did one and a half and two thirds of another quarter. All right, my my knee lift is still boosted. So I gotta do my knee lift. How does it help my abdominals? I don't feel it that much. I, I do feel it a little bit, I guess. But it's like... Again, this is one that I feel like wasn't doing too much for me in the end. 
but I got better at it, and so I'm gonna keep doing it. Maybe I'll get even more like, oh, I can feel it now. I feel it. I feel the cosmos. And attack power back to normal. I'm low on health, so I figure, nope, let's eat smoothie. And now I'm out of the two-hit smoothie. But now I went back to Warrior 1 because, uh-oh, I might actually lose this if I don't use my Warrior 1. So I was actually getting worried that I would have to go back, grind a little bit, buy more smoothies, or at least buy spinach to make more smoothies, so I would be ready for this. And come back as a higher level. And look at that HG bar, it's getting so close. So close. So close. Oh, he's still alive, barely. And then he didn't attack. He just, he just didn't attack. I didn't need to use that. I didn't need to use that last potion. Which made me kind of sad. And he's dead. Win! One Phosphophilite. That's so much EXP. 16. 3 and 3 games. Again, I don't know how much that actually matters. Now turn your exercise into experience points with a victory pose. Charge your squad power, but don't overextend yourself. Real victory! 747. I'm an airplane. Lightly cover the IR motion camera with the pad of your right thumb as shown. Measuring. Please do not move your thumb. I think this one I was pressing too hard. Like, look at that. And I'm flatlining. Sorry, I couldn't measure properly. Lightly so I did it again. It's. I'm going to keep doing this. It's even if it is kind of inaccurate. All that I'm gonna keep doing it. One fifty-six a minute. Surprise by knees to chest. Knee lift safer. Those are the do each exercise a number of times, I'm pretty sure. It's an Ouroboros. I mean, you've lost three times now, so... You can escape to the purple moon all you want, you keep losing. But that's it for World 3, technically. But now we're heading to the Kingdom of Sporta. Ooh, that's not on the nose or anything. There's three requests there, though, that I assume I have to go back for. Because, again, there's the multiple pathways and all that, so... So we'll see. Alright, it's a... It's two levels in a row. It's one level and then Drago. I wonder what all that stuff on the right is for. Hmm. Now, I was trying to figure out how to get into the pause menu. That I was like, why did I stop? So I'm like, how do I get into the pause menu? 
Try to figure, oh, maybe if I go to town, maybe, maybe then I'll get my, uh, the requests. Uh -huh. No. Oh. I don't know what the requests are about. Okay, I also wanted to buy some spinach to make some potions because I didn't have any now. Well, I had one. I wanted to buy some spinach. And then I'm fum- And I also wanted another attack power grape smoothie. Because that's pretty important. As far as gameplay. And then she had nothing. Cell has nothing. I was like, what, what, what about- What about the requests? What about the requests? What about my requests? There's three requests I need to do here somewhere. I'll probably figure it out here in World 4. What those requests are. Are you ready, Spartans? And nobody wants to go fight him. They're weak. Spineless. And that's technically not wrong with Sparta. They were extremely, like, all into the big exercising and making sure they were strong to protect the home and all that. It was- it's not as, uh, glamorous as a lot of things make it out to be, obviously, but, you know. This is video game version, and it's sports, so it's whatever. And it's level 17, ooh. Now this one I figured I could do because the fact that Drago, I had a feeling that, Aww. oh, Tiny, huh? Yeah, they gave us the nickname of Tiny. But now, all right, new mechanic. Every level now is going to have these question marks in them that we can collect for more ingredients. So now instead of just buying ingredients, we can even do levels for them. Yeah, the moment, the moment I saw that Drago was super close, I knew that this wasn't going to be a normal level. Like, I had a feeling, I figured there might be like one enemy battle and then the end of the stage. I, I had a feeling. I, I've never seen this stage before. It was, I was complete shot in the dark. It could have bit me in the ass really hard. But I was correct, because this is where the stage ends. With the flamingos. Yep, complete dead end. And so that's where I decided to call it, is after that. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I go into the shop first. But I do not go into the next level. That, w that was enough. We have work to do. We have to train you. And then I talked to them just because like, but requests, requests, I must, I must do the requests. Muscle obviously weighs more than water. I mean, a lot of things weigh more than water. Different items from store one, like obviously. Support effects I wasn't looking at, but... I wasn't too concerned about buying new equipment, because... Once again... 
The game doesn't explain how much stats matter. That's a lot of RPGs do that. Like, it... But, ooh, look at all these different color boosters. Ooh. I'll probably be making a bunch of those myself. And we got milk and... We got white sesame seeds from the stage. Milk I'll get some somewhere. And I didn't buy anything from them. Hooray. You know, it's... If I ever make an RPG game, if I ever get it back into, like, coding and all that, and I make an RPG, I'm going to have a specific tutorial room. Like, hey, here's the mechanics. Here's also the stat calculations. If you want to actually know how the calculations work, here you go. But otherwise, it was a shorter exercise day, but also longer than yesterday in terms of footage, be even with the more exercise. Just because of all the story stuff that happened. But, cool down. Lower body again. Great job. But yeah, that's the end of today's day, but also... Oh yeah, this muscle quiz. I was pretty sure it was quadriceps just because it's the squats. That's correct. Amazing. Yeah, no, I'm never going to do that. I can't remember those. That's... Maybe if you're more advanced, but that's it for day si er, seven. And then we're on to day eight. So, day eight was supposed to be Thursday, but Wednesday night, I don't know why. It's since before I started to ring fit, but for some reason, I've been a. Uh, I, uh. I've been ha. Oh, thank you for the new title game. I already know how to set them, but, uh, I've been having, like, these, like, really extreme night terrors where I end up, like, the furthest point away from my bed because I just ran for it. And so, it's, like, messes with my sleep that night. And so, in the morning, I'm extremely tired and not just because, like, oh, I had a bad sleep, I went to bed too late. It's just, no, that one moment... And so when I woke up Thursday morning, I was already extremely exhausted, physically and mentally. So I said, nope, not going to do any, fi uh, yeah, Final Fantasy, any ring fit. Any ring fit today is probably a bad idea. Also, I'm putting, it says to do bring green stuff, so I'm bringing green stuff. So yeah, that, that's a bit of a bad idea, so let's not do ring fit. And so came Friday, and I'm actually doing Ring Fit there. But now, we've done this stage before. Hooray! But now there's gonna be Robins. Ooh, they're gonna steal my money. But now they're also doing the same stage, but with the question marks everywhere. You can move the water faster if you raise your knees up higher. Now you're getting a whole bunch of different items. It's gonna... It's not exactly gonna be a complex crafting system from what I can tell. It's always just gonna be, if you have the recipe, you just select it and then that's it. You know, it, it's... It's nice that there's more to collect in a stage. And now here comes colorless enemies. It's not really all that tough because it's... A hoplin, and those are the lowest level of enemy. I'm assuming there's going to be more enemy types as I go on. It would be weird if it's all just the same enemy types over and over and over. Yeah, today's going to be a big yoga day, and during during the dynamic stretches and during all the yoga. I realize that I'm feeling a bit more limber, I guess is the correct turn. I feel more flexible than I used to. So I think that, like, I mean, compared to, again, at the beginning of the series, I mentioned, oh, I'm a content creator. I'm now doing video game videos, so all my time is spent at the computer. When I'm working, when I'm not working, it's all at a computer. I have to go out for, I have to get up for cleaning, going shopping, all that stuff. But when I'm at home and not doing anything that needs me to not be at a computer, 
I am at the computer. So I'm always just pretty stationary. So any amount of exercise is going to limber me up a lot more than what I usually am, just a stiff void. Now at least I'm not just a complete twig that if you bent me at all, I'd, I'd, I'd smack or snap in half. Now I'm, now I'm a slightly limber twig. You can, you can like wave me back and forth in your hand and I might like bend a little in the wind, just the force of the wind moving me back and forth. I might, I might bend a little bit. And I, I actually do feel that and like, it's a huge, huge change for me that I felt on this day. I'm, maybe it was just Tuesday. I needed two days to recover, Wednesday, Thursday to recover. I don't think so. I think it was just the night terror on Wednesday night or into Thursday morning. So it would be Thursday morning because it was like 3 a.m. that I was up. Yeah, so I think it was like... Yeah, it... I don't know. It could be a bit mix of both that like... Tuesday, I went extra hard or something, even though I didn't go extra hard on Tuesday. I think I kept adjusting myself, so I kept resetting. Yeah, uh... Yeah, no, I think it was just a matter of... Maybe it was just... My muscles and everything are healing into... Alright, we're finally gonna be flexible now. We're gonna be able to bend more than, like, two degrees. Now you could go four degrees. Technically, that is double what I used to be able to do, and that's a 200% increase. A 100% increase. 200% of what I was. So, that's... That's huge for me. That's... It really is, just because I started doing this, and doing the log helps me... Wanting to... Put my thoughts to the, together, and really reflect on what I've been doing, and... The benefits it's been giving me, all that stuff. Ah, it's, it's... I've been glad for starting this. I really am glad I started this. This was... This was the correct choice, for sure. Why did I go front press? I guess I think I'm like, I wanted something easy to finish off this colorless hoplon. Oh, look at its little eye. Just I'm looking at the fist, and then I die. Let me move right back under the fist. Oh no, I'm gonna. Let me. Oh, what's that? Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, it even makes noises in the trees when it goes through. Like, it, oh, that's cute. It's like the the dumbbell hitting the wall in that one other thing that I did. But now this one, we got the bow pull. I like this one. It's still one of the pulls, but also it's stronger than the it's stronger than even just the overhead press, but also is a five enemy AOE. So it's like in terms of game stats and meta gaming, it's just way better than either of the other red ones. You did it. And even just that, I I want to be moving on to the new exercises. I don't want to just do the old exercises. One of these days, I might just go back and be like, Alright, let's just take random exercises I haven't done in a while. I haven't used this one in a while, I haven't used this one in a while, I haven't used this one in a while. And just see how far that gets me. But, because like, with the, uh, with the gaining of smoothies and all that, I have the ability to just farm up items if, for whatever reason, the need arises that, oh no, I can't continue because I don't have the, the HP or the potions for it. I could just go grind up smoothies. Did I actually do the war? Oh yeah, I did. I was gonna think, like, I think this is where I actually used the new skill first, but no, I'm like, no, I want to get rid of the one of the enemies first. Plus, again, I wanted, I did want to do more of the yoga just because I was already feeling it. I was already feeling, oh my god, this is already getting easier to do. I feel like a lot better. Wow, I'm happy for this. Wow, thank you, uh, Ring Fit, for making me feel more exercised. And all that stuff. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch. 
switch legs. And the switch up. But yeah, no, it it really did. It's good. I'm glad. I can't say it's like the best choice for everyone. But if you're. It's worth a shot, I would say. It's worth a shot. If you have. Even if you don't do ring fit, do some exercise. Just do something. Even just a little bit every day. This. This is definitely a lot more than what I have been doing. That, that is absolutely for sure. And it being a ge video game incentivizes me. Doing this ring set fit log incentivizes me. It, it keeps me wanting in. Make sure that I'm doing it every day. Non- or not non-stop, but... Not missing a beat, not missing a day, unless I really need to take the day off like I've been doing. If my bot, if I feel like my body physically can't handle it, ah, here's why I do it, just because colorless enemy. If I feel like I can't, I just don't. At first, this didn't seem like, oh, this one's easier than the other ones. This one's super easy. Wow. Why is he even bother with this one? This one is pointless as an exercise. But then, by the time I get to this last three, I'm like, Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, wait, I, I can feel it now. Oh, no. Oh. And then the other side, I'm like, Oh, wow, okay. Now I actually feel it in my back now that I've started doing it. And it's... I guess that, like, it activated my... My tr I guess it would be the triceps is what it would be targeting. It felt like it was more in my back, but that could just be because that's where the triceps are connecting to back muscles. And it wasn't the latissimo dorsi, it was more like upper, like towards the shoulder and like between the shoulder blades. So that could have been triceps and just where it connects and it was like, yeah, no, this is, I like this one. Really, the only one I still have not liked at all is the the knee lift, which I really hoping for uh, another blue skill to come in so I can just upgrade again. I think I am at the point of okay, I've done enough for the titles. Cause that's another thing too. I'm I'm completionist, so I want to get all the titles if it's not like super hard to do. Now it it Perfect. I do see now that the just watching this back now is like oh I guess yeah colorless enemies are actually that dangerous they have much higher HP values it seems because Hoplons even before great job go drink some water. Even before, uh, getting levels up and all that, Hoplons were pretty easy to kill. Especially now with the colored bonus. They just melt no matter what you do. Like, they, they, they just get destroyed. So, I'm watching this back and like, okay, yeah, colorless enemies are a bit more dangerous. And they're gonna be the last you take down still, just because you can take colored enemies out really quickly. But hey, Robins! This is a gimmick to just make you dash, which I feel like... I guess the fact that it keeps swapping you back and forth, like, oh, now you have to do knee lift, now you have to dash, now you have to do knee lift. I think, but it was so short that it was like, oh, what was the point of that? I think maybe if they do a longer section of stuff like that, of, okay, sprint, now knee lift, now sprint, now knee lift. That it'll actually be, like, worth having there? 
That's the thing is the level design's a bit lacking in terms of keeping up with exercise. But may, again, it could just be because this is the first time. And I go, oh, here's an abdominal press hold. Just out of nowhere. You got it. Keep pushing me into your stomach. Yes. Nice. And then that's it. That was that's the end of the stage. Like, oh okay, okay then. But also, this was a really long stage. This is almost already eight minutes. Well, I guess it's seven and a half. Oh, no, I forgot. There's a chest first. So, yeah, it's eight minutes. Just for this one stage. I'm like, if I do another stage, that'll probably be at least another six minutes. Because, again, it's... I guess it's because the black... The black uh, the colorless black, whatever, colorless enemies taking so much more damage to need. So yeah, here it is. I'm gonna get another three seconds. Oh, no, four seconds. 7.53 for one stage. Other than that little, like, spike in the middle there, I think generally that one was pretty good. I did feel like I could have did more. Maybe I should have went and did... Oh, wait, I forgot. No. I did do more. of Like, okay. I was like, yeah, and that's, that's like, all I'm going to be doing for the day. I'm not going to do any more. But it was a mini game here. I forgot about the mini game here, which I went and did. This one, again, I'm only going to show... Actually, no, I think I might show both, just because... The difference between A and S is super tiny. It's like, get one extra box. Because I wasn't completely understanding about how you want me to be doing this one. Something like, oh! Uh, green crates are... All the ones immediately around it. But it's not quite... Because if they're bouncing up and down, it does not break all of them around. Gold ones always break all the ones around them, but like... I don't know, the green ones just... They seem inconsistent. And you can see me get a little bit... I don't know if you can see me get frustrated, but I got a little bit frustrated at the green ones. I couldn't tell if I was just aiming incorrectly because I'm looking at the screen too much. Versus where I'm placing my hands for aiming. I, I couldn't tell, but... Here's where the final rush is. It's like, after however many, however many waves that is, it starts just spamming gold ones at you. If I had hit that gold one, I would have gotten S rank. Okay, I'm at 22-222 is my score for an A rank. Also, level 18, yay. That was, like, worth nothing as a level up. Wow. Wow. Sesame smoothie recipe. I did not look at what that uses or what that does. I'm going to have to look at that on Monday just to see, like, hey, what does this one smoothie do for me? Because I'm not, I'm not sure. Ready? But it's probably something very useful. Okay, so my best is 222. Two, two. You see me now? I'm, I'm not just like aiming. I'm just spamming at this point. I'm. I'm only aiming as much as I need to aim to hit boxes. But otherwise, I'm just spamming. Spamming as much as I can. Which really worked out my arms. And like, oh, I got angry there. Like, oh, I missed that one crate. And you can see I'm starting to get my arms tired now just because I've been... I spammed it so much. But here we go, last te f nine seconds or so. Aim for the gold ones. Okay, no, I got two extra, so it was like a 2400. Okay, yeah. It was a bit m higher than I thought it was, but there we go. S rank. 
You don't have to get a perfect... I don't think there's an end. Maybe that was the last wave. But it seems like there was no w uh, actual end point to that. But at that point, my arms were really sore. My legs from doing that first stage, you need strong arms to ba balance when crossing the river. Oh, no. My arms are extremely tired after that minigame. Let's not do this. So my legs were extremely sore after the stage worked out my legs really hard. And also the battles and all that. Then it's the minigame got my arms really good. They're like, no, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pass on this for now. That was a good day's work. It was shorter. It's shorter, but still worth it. Capture taken. Good job. You got this. And then, as always, oh, upper body. We did upper body a lot with that mini game. So, and also the new skill. The new skill, the bow pull. This one, this, this cooldown is a bit. Stretch the muscles of your left shoulder. Words. Uh, I, I saw... So, new exercises. That's what I'm trying to say. Duh, I'm an idiot. So, this exercise I have done before a couple times. I think... Now do the same on the two... Two or three times. It's probably two to other times I did it. But be careful no, three. Three, 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 three. Yeah, because I... So the first time I was not sure. Second time I did it. This was the third time, I think. So, that is, this is the third time I've done this one. This one I've done a bunch three or four times. Your upper arms while pulling your elbows downward. Now do the same on the opposite side. I like this one. This one I've been doing just on my own time of I need to stretch. I'm pretty sure I said that in uh last week's that I like this one, because I think I even got last week this one at the ending. I might have even gotten that more than just two or three times. Once again, I only got this one like twice before. But I've gotten it before. Yeah, first time I didn't understand it. Second time I got it, but was still confused a bit. This time I was like, okay, I'm, I'm getting it now. The more familiar you get with exercising, the better, the easier it is to understand them. Remember to always wear comfortable shoes that fit properly. Ha! Huh, that's why you're wrong, game. I don't wear shoes for this game. Rotate your hands this one! This one was brand new, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've done this one before. Lower your neck the same way. This one is... Like... Mentally a mind bender of, okay, I have to pull my arm to the right, turn my head to the right when I would naturally want to turn it to the left, but I can, I can feel it pulling, like, my neck muscle down to my arm. I can feel that. It's like, oh, wow, this one, this is a super effective one. Either, I don't know if I'm doing it too hard, but I felt it in a good way, though, in a good way. It felt good to me. This one was also new. And doing this, I can't go as far as Tip can. Definitely not. But I did feel I was bending more than I usually was, which was great. Return to your original position, switch hands, and bend the other way. So even with it being a shorter final day and missing a day because my body needed time off, I was pr feeling pretty satisfied after doing this one. Even just not the rest of them. This one especially, like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my results so far. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna at least, of course, beat the game. But I'm probably gonna do much more afterwards. If I want to keep myself healthy and exercising, all that good stuff. And there it is again. Don't push it. Take a break from training if you feel discomfort. Get a good sleep. Yeah, I wish I could sometimes. Now, I felt the need to take a break, so I took a break, so. And then I charged my Joy-Cons, but that's it for week three. I know this ends up being a lot of rambly, but I'm enjoying doing this. I hope people are enjoying listening to me talk about this. Maybe, again, doing their own health, enjoying themselves in whatever way, and trying to get healthier. It's, 
I do feel that it's been really worth it so far, even just... Again, this won't be for everyone, but for me, this has been a really, really good time, and I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to enjoy doing it, and all that stuff. But otherwise, take care. May the power of Ananid Hogs so waste to your gains.